how does someone who wants to become a professional screenwriter approach it like a, a professional screenwriter? What is their mindset? What is their time like? What are they doing that's different from someone who just says, I want to be a writer and both have equal talent, but one's approach and mindset is different from the other one that, eh, yeah, I want to be a writer, but doesn't do that much. That's a really good question. I had uh, one of my students from online um, is now a very, very successful TV showrunner and soon to be directing a, a, a movie that she wrote. Um, and I had her, it's Lisa Joy, she is co-executive producer of Westworld. And she came to a class that I taught at, at Westwood for a weekend seminar. And that question, they posed that question to her. And she said, well, I was working as a lawyer and, and before that I was going to law school. And the way I approached it was, I'm going to act like I am a professional screenwriter. I'm going to approach this like a job. And so obviously, you know, how do you do that in terms of hours? But set that aside, that's the mentality to have. And you have to really immerse yourself in it. And it's not just about writing the script, it's about learning the craft. And so one of those things that I came up with years ago from my blog, which is watch movies, read script, write pages. Those three things are absolutely essential. You've got to watch movies. Sometimes you just kind of kick back and enjoy it. But then there are other times you stop it scene by scene and you write a scene by scene breakdown and you're looking for where the plot line points land, the major events that twist the plot in a new direction. You're looking at subplots and those little mini stories, M-I-N-I stories and how they play into the, to the A story. You're looking at characters in terms of the transformation of art. So there's watching movies and sometimes you do it in a very rigorous fashion. Then reading scripts, similarly, you can just sit there and just kind of blow through a script and enjoy it. But then you can also do the same thing. You can do a scene by scene breakdown. You're doing the same sort of analysis that you would if you were watching a movie. Reading scripts is absolutely critical, particularly scripts written in the last five years because the style changes constantly. And so people who tell you, well, you can't do this, you can't do that, um, much more important for you to read scripts of professional writers, movie scripts, where you are seeing how professionals approach the writing and you're then taking that knowledge and bringing it to bear on your own writing. And then, of course, writing pages. And, you know, I have this thing I came up with on my blog that seems to be quite popular, which is one, two, seven, 14. One is read one script per week. Two is watch two movies per week. Seven is write one page a day, seven pages. And 14 is 14 hours a week. You should be basically two hours a day you're researching another project, you're rewriting a project, you're doing character development, you're doing story development, you're generating and assessing story ideas, you're tracking trends, you're reading the trades. You know, if you wanna do this, if you really wanna do this, you have to understand that you are competing against people who are very serious minded and have a lot of talent. It's not easy. In fact, the odds against success are just enormous. But the way to do it is to approach it like you're a professional. And so if you can carve out 20 hours a week, or let's say 16 hours a week, you know, two hours a day, you know, as opposed to uh, going and, and eating lunch, you know, with the buddies for an hour and a half, well, no, use that time to actually do some work as a writer. You know, you need to learn the craft and then exhibit what you've learned on the page so that when you've written that script, um, it speaks to someone, you know, someone will get it and see that this is a professional writer.